The logbook screen of FS Flying School Pro is where we see the results of the flights that we have flown and we can look back over the history of all the flights that we've flown with FS Flying School. Uh, this screen will essentially have blank information um, when we launch FS Flying School. We won't see any information in this main area here until we complete a flight. And in order to complete a flight, all we have to do is land the plane. And once the, pl once the flight is over, we will see uh, the flight evaluated here at this screen. As we can see, um, a flight has been flown since uh, this particular session of uh, FS Flying School was started. And uh, so now at this screen we can see various information. We can see the, uh, the name of the pilot, the pilot profile that was used uh, to fly this uh, particular flight. We can see the aircraft involved and some dates and so forth. General information about the flight. Uh, interesting to note whether or not uh, there were any uh, failures during the flight. Evidently there were none on this one. And we see the landing score here. And we have notation that the autopilot was used. Um, this can affect your score. Uh, and then we see that the landing was successful in the following areas. And then if we just scroll down a little bit here, we'll go through those. And the overall opinion of the instructor was that it was a splendid landing. And then we move down here and look at the flight score. Uh, you will only get a flight score if you have um, taken off uh, from the ground, flown, and then landed again. In this particular flight, evidently the pilot was just practicing a landing and so started off in mid-air. Nevertheless, uh, the flight does contain information that enables the pilot to see how well they did, even if he isn't being given a, a full score for it. So we can see the areas uh, in which the uh, flight was commended. We can scroll down and see if there were any problems. And indeed, there were no problems on this particular flight, so it was flown smoothly and um, sensibly. So that is the logbook display that uh, is uh, immediately shown in FS Flying School when a flight has ended. And of course, what ends the flight is determined at the flight plan screen, and that is described in a separate movie. The other things that we have at this screen, and this is the logbook screen as we can see it highlighted up here, the other things we have at this screen are other means to analyze uh, how we've been doing with our flights overall with uh, FS Flying School Pro. One of the most powerful is the career analyzer which is this button here and you uh, will click the career analyzer button and then we can select from a series of different graphs uh, which we can use to analyze how well we're doing on our flights and these graphs analyze over uh, 70 different areas of airmanship we can filter them by specific aircraft we can look at the these are just the aircraft that this particular pilot has flown they're listed there so we can select particular aircraft to look at we can also then select which parameter that we want to look at, which is uh, we're going to be doing over here. And the so the different parameters we can examine are, for example, in this particular screen, we can see that we're looking at the landing score. Um, but we could also select from a, a number of other parameters. As you can see, you've got all these different areas here in which uh, Flying School is tracking the flight as you're flying it and recording at the end with a score so you can see how you did. So if we if we take this particular um, pilot, uh, we look at uh, the landing scores that uh, he's been getting. He's obviously been getting some fairly reasonable scores here. Uh, the, uh, an occasional uh, disastrous score, which, uh, for example, could be the case if um, the pilot has uh, crashed the plane. And if the plane is crashed, that will be recorded in the logbook, along with some basic data about uh, what um, uh, may have been the cause of the crash. So that's all recorded in the logbook. And of course, we can scroll through this. Uh, this, pi this particular pilot is obviously a fairly uh, busy sort of a person because he's clearly flown a great number of flights. Uh, that's the landing score, but if we, if we, for example, let's uh, look at the um, landing vertical speed in feet per minute, and if we look at this, then we can see that 
we're often getting reasonable speeds in feet per minute landing and then this particular one over here looked like we had a bit of a problem on that one I would say that that uh, that's definitely looking like a crash there and so you can get an, an idea of the uh, the overall trend of uh, how you've been doing in these um, different areas and as I say there are, there are over 70 different areas to look at uh, in the uh, parameter list here and as I was also saying we can pick a particular aircraft, let's say the uh, Airbus um, A380 for example, and let's say on that one we want to look at, uh, oh, I don't know, the, uh, let's see, what else could we choose, the landing score, we've already looked at that, I'm trying to find something that might give us particularly interesting results, flight score, well, evidently hasn't done very well <laughs> flying that aircraft, um, let's see, what else could we find that might be an interesting area to look at. Um, have we had any ballooning? Yes, we've had ballooning here. Okay, so that gives us an idea of what we can do with the career analyzer. Now I'm going to close that one, and then we can move on to the next button, which is the pilot briefing. If I click on the pilot briefing, this brings up the pilot briefing dialog, and then we have a list of pilots here. I just have one particular pilot uh, that I'm looking at at the moment, so I'll load that pilot up, and if we look at that pilot's um, flights, so that's what we've chosen to look at, not circuits or landings. This is divided up into four different areas. Uh, we have areas where there's been no improvement, a problem with no improvement, a problem that's improving, a problem that's clearly being mastered, and then problems that have been mastered. So there's quite a lot of insight going into this. Uh, it's looking at all the flights that have been flown by this pilot in all aircraft and it's, it's trying to identify trends and it's telling us whether they are frequent trends or not and it's also uh, letting us know if we're getting any better or we're not getting any better at all. So this particular pilot, let's say, uh, has mastered the problem of an occasional problem that was happening which was um, late rotation, that is to say uh, not uh, raising the nose at the appropriate time when um, taking off from the runway um, but if we look at a uh, let's say a, a serious long-term problem in which the pilot is showing some improvement uh, this is a loss of altitude during takeoff and then if we have an area a serious long-term problem for example when there is where there is no improvement and that is um, rapid descent so that's uh, probably indicating that the pilot um, has a habit of um, not planning approaches very well and uh, finds that uh, when he or she is uh, approaching the airport uh, runway uh, that uh, a sudden uh, rapid loss of descent, uh, rapid, rapid loss of altitude, excuse me, is required in order to be able to get down to the runway and of course that's uh, not uh, first class flying. So that's the pilot uh, briefing tool and we can uh, use this to identify the areas that we need to uh, concentrate on. So I'll shut that down. Also at this screen we have um, uh, a link we can click to go uh, directly to the FS Flying School uh, site to uh, see news there, that's a handy link. Um, we've also got um, importantly the traditional logbook and the few uh, full uh, pilot logbook. The traditional logbook, which I'll bring up now, is built into the program. Um, again we can look at this looking at all aircraft or just the uh, log of the pilot's performance in a specific aircraft which we can choose from the list of aircraft that the pilot has flown. So that's right there. And this is actually just page 11 of 11. We've got the previous page so this as we've established before this pilot has flown um, rather a lot of flights. Uh, we can print this also and this is laid out in a pretty traditional format where we've got uh, well the the date and the type of aircraft and airline if, if uh, uh, was used if we knew the departure if we knew the arrival if, if it did indeed arrive anywhere because of course we may have just flown around and then ended the session um, without uh, landing at a particular airport and we've got our hours broken up here and with the distance and the block time as well so that's all there for you to uh, review in the uh, traditional format 
There's also the uh, full pilot logbook, so-called. This is um, displayed, uh, this is an HTML file, which is displayed, in other words, in a browser. Looks uh, much like a web page when you open it, a very long web page. And it has a great deal more information than the traditional logbook. It basically contains the information we see here at the logbook screen, all of this information for every flight that has been flown. So it's a rich resource of information on how you've been doing with your flights, where you've been going, what you've been flying, when you've been doing it, and the the scores will give you an idea, of course, of how uh, well you've um, handled the aircraft. And then um, finally, we have these two buttons here, which are to uh, show us and help us manage the flight maps that we can save with um, FS Flying School Pro. Um, the save and view Google Map of Flight button is only present after we have finished a flight with FS Flying School. Um, before then, there, there is nothing to save. So it, when you start up FS Flying School, you won't see this button until you've finished a flight. If you click on this button, you will be taken to the Google Maps uh, site and you will see uh, or rather, you'll be taken to the site where you will see your flight maps shown uh, using um, Google Maps. And this gives you uh, an excellent uh, uh, view of your flight. And the, the fun part is, of course, is that you can not only uh, look at uh, the route of the flight, um, uh, shown over a uh, map overlay, but you can also uh, show it over a satellite overlay, uh, which is um, satellite photography, in other words, uh, which is um, very interesting because you, and you can see that in great detail. I mean, if you if you land slightly to the left of the runway center line, you will see that uh, when you look at the uh, the uh, route of the map as it's projected onto the um, satellite. Uh, uh, photography and it's a it's a very interesting feature there the other great thing about that of course is that you can um, if you simply copy the uh, web address or the URL uh, that is shown in the uh, the uh, URL area of your browser so it's just a long string of text which you can copy you can then um, mail that you can email that to, to your friends if you wish and you can say click on this link and look at my flight uh, look at the flight I flew yesterday so you can share it with friends uh, which is fun as well and I think that just about uh, wraps us up for the uh, logbook screen of FS Flying School Pro